Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Blackwell Unbound. When we left off last time, we solved the Mavis Wilcox case, so she's over on the other side now as well. Now, we found that the Countess, she's a medium. She still is claiming that she helps. She was helping people, although clearly she's not. Uh, Joey has a theory that she's, she doesn't have a spirit guide, and you have to have a spirit guide. So somehow, someone's filling in for her, and that someone is our New Yorker reporter, Joseph Mitchell. Uh, it's looking awfully suspicious, because the... The two people that Mavis thought she was helping, that she ended up killing, he investigated them, their, he got their life stories, he researched them, but he never wrote the article because they died. So did he intentionally give, sent her out to kill them? There's something strange going on. We gotta go ask him about it. Um, just wanna show here. Yeah. Or, no, not this one. Although. Both cases are done. We're so close to calling it a night. So close, but I'm worried something horrible might happen. What I wanted to look at is our notes. So all we have, the reporter and the countess. Let's see, can I come away? Mm. No, I don't see any connection. There's a connection. All right, let's go talk to him. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. It's our only place to go now. Let's do it. All right, you. Yes. Miss Blackwell. Mm-hmm. Hello again, Mr. Mitchell. I was just about to head home. Oh, I'll just be a second. Well, if you insist. I do. Do have a seat. Thanks, but I'd rather stand. Go on, let him have it. Mind if I smoke? Well, actually. Thanks. <laughs> Miss Blackwell, my patience is wearing thin. So's mine. My family is waiting for me. Tell me what you want. You finished your writing for the day, Mr. Mitchell? Yes. Yes, I have. And now I'm going home. He's full of hot air. The page is blank. You haven't written anything today, have you? Why do you say that? The paper is blank. What? How do you know that? I have exceptional eyesight. <laughs> there's dust. Don't forget the dust. Yep, he, Joey mentioned and that before. there's dust on the typewriter. Well, can't contradict you there. So? So, I don't think that's any of your business, Miss Blackwell. It is, now, though. if you'll excuse me. No. Mr. Mitchell, two people are dead. So I gathered. You wrote about both of them. Yes, I did. You don't find anything suspicious about that. I've written about hundreds of people over 30 years. The fact that two of them happen to be dead does not surprise me. It's just a coincidence. Mm -mm. Funny thing about my life, Mr. Mitchell? If something looks like a coincidence, it normally isn't. Well, I hate to disappoint you. Ooh, look at the sweat on this guy's brow. <laughs> if he ain't lying, I'm dying. So to speak. <laughs> you aren't a very good liar. And you are poking your nose into things you don't understand. I understand more You'd than you You'd be surprised imagine. at what I understand, Mr. Mitchell. Try me. Who are you, anyway? You come in, out of the blue, and bring up all this. All of what? I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I write about people and they die. Can you understand that, can you? My whole life I've been driven to write about people. Now I kill them instead. And that's why he stopped writing. Okay. So it's something with the Countess. Let's try that. I don't want to necessarily give him words of encouragement. I think he might not be lying here, that he genuinely doesn't understand what's happening. Because that makes sense. That's why he's not writing anything now, is because he doesn't want get, to get anyone else killed, but he doesn't understand. So... You've done nothing wrong. There's a woman called the Countess. She kills whoever you write about. A Countess? Killing people that I write about. Yep. That's a tall story. And that's a lot to take in. Why would she do something like that? How did this happen? Not sure yet. Probably because of your connection to humanity. I don't know. You said probably. So you're not sure? Mm -mm. Not as such, no. Well then, I appreciate you trying, but I prefer if you left well enough alone. Uh-uh. Let's see. You're not a murderer, Mr. Mitchell. No, I'm not. Five years back, I tried to write about a man. An old man in a bar. He was killed the next day, choked to death. I didn't think anything of it at the time. Then I wrote about another man, Mr. Isaac Brown. You know him. Mm -hmm. He died the same way. Still figured it was just a coincidence. But then it happened with Mavis Wilcox. For the third time in a row. No, I didn't kill them. Not on purpose. But if I wrote a fourth time, 
That would be murder. Plain and simple. So... Why is this happening? I think it's a penance of some kind. For what? I've shared the intimate details of people's lives with the world. Perhaps I revealed one secret too many. I don't think about it anymore. I just come to work like nothing's wrong. Everyone's been very polite so far, but I'm sure the ball will drop someday. I can't leave it alone, Mr. Mitchell. Oh, rest assured you can. Mm -mm. You seem like a capable young lady, and I'm sure you think you know what's what. But I don't want any more deaths on my conscience. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to help you with. I'm trying to help you. And I never asked for it. People die when I write. So, I don't write. The problem's solved. Not really. Don't you want to write again? Oh, yes. But people are safe as long as I don't write about anything real. I've always wanted to try a hand at fiction. Had a story in my head for years. I'll probably give it a whirl, see how it goes. But no more deaths. Not on my watch. That's admirable. It really is. But we need to put a more permanent stop to the Countess than that. Don't you want to help? There's a killer out there. Who only kills people I write about. So I stop writing about people. Problem solved. For now, but... I don't know, what if she finds some bizarre connection with someone somewhere else? If you won't help me, I'll have to go to the police. And oh, what are we going to tell them? And tell them what? All those deaths, all killed the same way, so soon after you met them? I'm sure they'd be interested in that information. Is that right? Well, I'd be careful if I were you. Careful? I'm not without defenses, if you know what I mean. I'm not sure I do. What do you Is mean? Is that a threat? Are you threatening to write <gasps> about me? I didn't say anything. All right. You know what? Go right ahead. What do you mean? You want to write so bad? Write about me. Dust off that typewriter and get to work. Knock yourself out. Listen, I spoke out of turn. I didn't honestly mean... No, do it though. Hell with that. Just do it. Hey, this is dangerous. No, we gotta confront that doing. lady. I can't do it. Like hell you can't. You've been writing for how long? 30 years? More? I know you can do it. I want to meet this thing head on. It's the only way. Do it. You don't know what you're asking. What's the worst that could happen? You could die. Or you could oh. end up in a coma for 25 years. Is that all? But... Quiet. Although, is that what causes it? Right. I was born in Troy, upstate New York. My mother's name was Patricia. My father... You getting this stuff down? All right. Well, I hope you're happy. He does not I'm never like happy. This. Okay, she's gonna probably stay there and finish the cigarette, so Joey, let's go talk to her. No, I'm not doing that again. The kid can find her own damn loose change. No, I didn't mean to click the couch, I just wanted you to come this way. Hey. And what happens to me, huh? You die, what the heck happens to me? You'll move on to whoever's next. That's how it works, doesn't it? It's not about that. Maybe you'll end up with my baby brother. I'm sure you guys will get along great. Yeah, great. We're supposed to be a team. You can't make this kind of decision without asking me first. Button it, Joey. If this broad's a medium like me, then I have some questions for her. If I'm gonna end up like that, I wanna know. And if she kills you for your trouble? Well, then I won't have to worry. When do you think she'll get here? I don't know. I feel her coming, though. She knows who I am. How can you feel that? Yeah. I just do. She was right. She's like me. Maybe mediums call out to each other. Alright, well there's gotta be something we can do to deal with her. I mean, come on Lauren, at least have a weapon ready. You know she's gonna try to kill you, so... You know? Be prepared to deal with that, at least. I don't... I guess maybe I'm too optimistic. I don't really get her fear that she's gonna become like this lady I don't see why she has to assume that I mean just because the lady happens to be a medium she doesn't have her spirit guide obviously something happened and yeah I would like to know what happened so we can try to avoid that fate but I don't think we need to worry that this is what's looming for us mostly the reason I want to meet her is because I want her to stop killing people I mean, I understand where Joey's coming from, that he's upset that Lauren just volunteered. Write this story about me. Do it. Let's do this thing. But honestly, I'm kind of with Lauren. Like, let's just get this done. 
Meet it head on. I do want to help. Well, she can see and hear me, so I can help. You're not alone. Yeah. You understand you're not alone. I'm tired, Joey. I'm so tired. So, any thought on how to handle her? Nope, not a one. I just want to talk to her. Well, she can see and hear me, so I can- Yeah. Okay. You understand you're- I'm tired, Joey. I'm so tired. Alright, I'll just leave you to it. Yeah. Uh, this is not a good plan. She's gonna try to She's strangle here. you. So polite of her to knock. Hold something you could bludgeon her with. This is her bed. She can lie in it. Ah, he's gonna refuse to answer the door. I can, I can understand that. All right, let's do it. You really need to like pick this up. Pick up the candle what and the bottle. What do I need a candle for? It's more the bottle. You can smack her with it when she tries to kill you. Yes, you know me. Come in. I'm watching you. So, what's your story? I want to help you. Help me, huh? You're in pain? Lost? I can help. I'm not, though. What do you want to know who she is? Who are you? I am the Countess. But what's your actual name? Come on. Do you have a guide? The spirit guide? I still feel her. She is gone, but not completely gone. What do you mean? Yeah. Kid, her mind is snapped. No, but she She's had not gonna to make have had a guide at some point. Yes. She snapped my mind. She went away, and my world expanded. I see everything. Everything! It hurts! I... Where did her spirit guide go? Who was your spirit guide? She had a name. I no longer know. I wish I knew. I cannot think. Not without her. Why did she leave? Why? Yeah, I really want to know that. Where is your spirit guide now? I don't know. Her voice is gone. I'm lost. I found that other voice. But he is so quiet. You mean Mitchell? The true guide. She is gone. God. But how? How did she go away? I don't know. She found a way. Why did she do that? She found a way. So did she move on and find peace? Or did she, I don't know, find something that circumvents whatever rules guide mediums and their spirit guides, and that's why it's so distressing for her medium? Were you like me before your spirit guide went away? Like you. You know, sane. <laughs> that wasn't Joey. what I was I asking. I was happy. I was smaller. Saw the world in muted colors. And there was music. Sweet music. We helped people. It felt good. Now she is gone. Now I help people, but it feels bad. Well, it's because you're not actually helping them. You're bonded with Joseph Mitchell. Is that his name? The guide who is not a guide? Yep. Yes. The non-guide. He speaks to the world. He spoke to me. He tells me what to do. Oh, he is so often silent. It's been years since I heard his voice. But tonight, I heard him. He told me to help you. He didn't tell you that. Why else would I be here? I... I'm here to help you. No. You're here to kill me. No! I don't kill! You do, though. I will set you free! Hey, watch it, lady. Will I become like you? Please tell me. That's all I want to know. You? You are loved. Loved? Loved by who? You are in pain, my child. Let me help you. Don't. I'd like to help you instead. Help me? I need no help. You need to be free. Hey. 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 Let her go, you old witch. Damn it. I can't do anything. Fight her. Lauren, fight back. Fight back, damn you. 
What it? What do I do? Can I? Okay, there's gotta be something I can manage. Um. Burner. What are you doing? That's not gonna work, fighter. All right. Um. Good. Get off that. Smack her with the camera. I don't need a picture of <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, man, right in the eyes. All right. That's what happens when you mess with us. Stay away from her. No, she needs my help. Hey, you want to help someone? Why don't you help me? You want to free a spirit? Well, I'm the real McCoy. You? Careful, Joey. Yeah, that's right. Come and save me. I'm right here. I... Wait. I'm supposed to help her. Oh! My head! Yeah, we got her really good with that cigarette, huh? Okay. So I can't actually click Lauren. Well, I'm waiting. I'll save you. No! The connection is gone! I cannot save you, but I can still save her. Mm -mm. Hey! I said hey! I need help! Help? Okay. I'm missing something. He doesn't have anything. I can't get to Lauren. Uh... I guess we gotta just keep She's running. confused, in pain, and very, very insane. For the first time, I'm glad I'm already dead. I'm in pain. What are you gonna do about it? I can help you. I... The bond is gone. I can't reach you. Uh, there is still time to save her. Hey. Hey! If anyone needs saving, it's me. You need to be saved. Yeah, leave her alone. Okay, I don't... Why do you move so far? You don't need help. Huh? Oh, she crap. Needs That's my not help. the way to do it. Hey. I need help. Help? You're past your prime. I don't think you can handle it. You. Oh, that's what I gotta do. I gotta lure her out here. Okay. Come on, then. Make with the saving. You need me? Yeah, come on over. Come on, take me to the place with the bright light. I can help you. You're so good at helping, let's see you help me. I will set you free. Can we back up even more? I mean, we are a ghost here. Why do you move? You Too far. <gasps> hey. Dang it. Oh, not all the way back. Clip I need much. help. Help? Back one. Oh, woe is me. I'm in so much torment. Save me, <laughs> damn you! Are you hurting? Come on over. What are you waiting for? Come on! Whoosh! I will help you. I mean, I feel bad because she does want to help, but her help is Come toxic. Come on, you old bat. Save me! Your hurt will end soon. I'm waiting. I'll save you. Okay, a little further. I'm in pain. What are you going to do about it? I can help you. A little more. Well, come on. What are you waiting for? I... I want to help you. Why won't you let me help you? There we go. Uh, jo Joey? Push her over the edge. What is he doing? He's trying to save you. It's the Countess, whoever she is. What is she doing? Yeah, shove her over the edge. She's gonna kill you. I'm sorry. <coughs> I can't look, is she? Yeah. It's merciful. No, no ghost. She's gone. Gone. I killed her. It was either her or you, darling. You made the right choice. Did I? 
What if, what if that's me one day, huh? Why would it what be? What if I'm old and confused and alone? It won't be. You won't be alone. I'll make sure of that. You say that now. But look at her. Her guide was gone. I can't speak for the future, kid. Maybe someday we'll meet someone like her, and then maybe we'll find out more. But right here, right now, I'm here, and I'm staying put. That's something, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, come on. Yeah, it's something. This is a bad idea. You don't need to do this. Hello? Hi. Jack? Lauren? Sis, is that you? Yeah, Jack. It's me. Where have you been? It's not important. I miss you. Tell me about your life, Jack. How's Maria? When's the wedding? This is a really bad idea. All right. When the sun so... What caused things to go badly for Lauren, though, when she gets older and she ends up in the mental institution for 25 years? Like, what? Joey didn't leave her. He was there with her that whole time. Is it something that's... Okay, maybe... Alright. I was assuming something was gonna happen, like maybe she'd have some brain damage or something from being choked and this was gonna have some sort of like uh, I don't know some accident or something that resulted in her going to the institution but no I'm understanding now that the implication is more that it's something about being a medium perhaps that makes it happen let's move this out of the way so we can see the credits um, so yeah, is that what happened? Is it just... Is that the fate of all mediums? Because then what's going to happen to Rosangela? I was hoping that she would escape that, but we know that... I don't know. We know something happened to Lauren. And if this is... her story, then that's kind of the, the implication that it's... That it's, just some, it's just something that happens. So Lauren was right to be scared. But she didn't, she didn't lose Joey, though. He stayed there. And the Countess did lose her spirit guide. Huh. So I quite enjoyed this. I really like getting to see the, the bit of the relationship between Joey and Lauren. And maybe it's just me, but it feels, I don't know, some of the way he, he says some of his lines, it feels almost like maybe he does have some sort of affection for her. Maybe just beyond being a friend or whatever. I don't know. I guess maybe I'm a, a little bit... I like a little bit of romance stories sometimes. So maybe I'm imagining some that isn't there, but there's almost like a... It feels like there's a little bit of that kind of flavor there. I mean, when he was promising her that he's going to stay with her and he's not going anywhere. Um, but yeah, this makes me very interested to continue this series. And hopefully get some more answers. Special activation code. Real ugly. Oh, we smoked 73 cigarettes and Joey was hit 10 times by the saxophone. <laughs> when the sun oh, and then here's our photo. School. So, is that a picture of Joey? And took the picture of Isaac. Whistling. And see. Cool. Oh, and then that'll actually quit the whole game. Alright, so that was Blackwell Unbound. Uh, as always, if you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Head on back to my channel. There's a whole bunch of other games you can watch, lots of other Let's Plays. If you missed the Blackwell Legacy, make sure to watch that. And I... I don't know. I'm really feeling Blackwell right now. I think I'm going to launch right into the next one. So keep an eye out. That'll be coming.